Um, you mentioned that Florida and LA porn is very different. Mm. How so? Florida is more fun. LA is more professional. Mm. And that is how I would put it is you go to Florida and you're still working you're still shooting scenes, even for like the same companies, but, um, the energy is just more like, ah, you know, if mm-hmm. like a little something weird happens, you're just like, of course, like you kind of expect mm-hmm. it where here it's more, um, you're expected to be a hundred percent on point hair done, nails done, like, you know, come to set correctly Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, versus Florida. They kind of give you a little bit more leeway because a lot of the industry does start there. Mm -hmm. Um, So, yeah, I think it's more known as like kind of there's more amateur porn Mm -hmm. out there. And then, yeah, LA is definitely, it's kind of like the Hollywood versus big difference. (laughs) Yeah. 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 We're definitely, there's Mm -hmm. definitely like a bias against Florida porn here in LA. Like sometimes we'll be like, Oh, that's Florida porn. or That's Florida. We're not like that. (laughs) So yeah, there is, there's definitely, <laughs> but really we're doing the same stuff. <laughs> we really are. We really are. But you know, sometimes we just like to feel better than other people. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what have been some of your favorite scenes that you've ever done? Um, I like to do scenes with like, uh, other girls that I'm friends with. Mm-hmm. So I did a scene with Gia last year, Gia Durza and Jack Slayer for, um, my showcase. And that was just like, that's one of my favorite scenes of all time. It will always be because it was a really special day. She's a good friend of mine. And then Jax just surprised the fuck out of me. He came in with like just this like different energy. He was so, um, he was like dirty talking us so much. He doesn't normally do that. Um, he just was like really manhandling us and like took control. And it was, it was so much fun. What showcase was it? Uh, for I did a showcase for Evil Angel, okay. um, so Alexis Tay Anal Fantasy, and it's just a bunch of anal. Right. <laughs> so <Sounds> yeah, like <laughs> it was like my first DP, uh, first airtight, and then uh, those uh, boy girl anal, and then that anal scene. Can you explain so. what airtight is to those oh. those who don't know? We so, have, we do have like quite a few listeners. Yeah. Sometimes we fall into <laughs> industry speak, and I'm yeah. like, oh, I better explain that. So an airtight is when you are plugged in all the places you can be: your ass, your pussy, and your mouth, <laughs> and it is wonderful <laughs> because you can't think; you are just doing it, and it feels so good. And having like all just different, yeah. there's no control. And right. that's what's fun about it. So you kind of like, like that, that loss of control. In Absolutely. Scenes. That's, those are the scenes that I look back to and I'm like, that was freaking fun. Mm-hmm. And then another one was I shot with Rocco, um, Sifredi when oh, I wow. was really new at anal. I was like two months out of an anal contract. Um, I didn't know who he was. People started tweeting me. You're going to work with Rocco. You're going to work with Rocco. And because that was Rocco. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's so, like, my mom shot him for Playgirl. I mean, yeah. that's how long he's been around. <laughs> like, Rocco's a I, legend. Yeah, and I didn't know this at the time. So I was just like, uh, someone asked me, like, oh, would you like to shoot with Rocco? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I'm just thinking, you know, he's just some European guy. Right. And then um, I tell my agent, and he's like, hmm, look him up. <laughs> and I looked him up. And I was ready, <laughs> but I was not ready. Um, and I did that scene with Janice. And so she did Vag and it was really Janice uh, Griffith. Okay. Yeah. So Griffin Griffith. It's Griffith. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, and again, loss of control. He's so dominant. Yes. I didn't know what to expect, even though I had watched other things, he is different kind of with different people. So mm-hmm. There was a point in the scene where he laid on the floor and like let us smack him with our feet, shove our feet in his mouth. Like it was, it was just fun. I've never done that. He, yeah, yeah it was like two hours that we shot and wow. it was just fun. That's the only way to describe it. It's just fun. It's so interesting. So it's kind of like he sw- switched from like, yes, I wouldn't say submissive. I don't ever see Do- Rocco is submissive, but like, but for him. Yeah. Yeah. And it was really cool because I still never had another guy do that. Yeah. So. You don't do like foot fetish stuff. Oh, I do. But okay. not like you're in the heat of the scene. The guy lays down and he's like foot feet, yeah. feet all over me. Just smack me. Yeah. That would be cool. I would be down for that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, time. that's definitely like a 
different takeaway from mm-hmm. these. Like, okay, missionary, cowgirl, yeah. reverse cowgirl. I don't think we did one normal position. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably why he's, like, still mm-hmm. so successful. I was very surprised mostly by how large he was. As mm-hmm. a person, like, he mm-hmm. his penis size is big, but he is a big man. Mm-hmm. And I remember being in Doggy and thinking – wow, he's really uh, big. Like, he's large. Like, he's heavy. This is a lot of weight on top of me. Mm-hmm. And I'd never felt that before. So Interesting. Yeah, yeah Rocco's, Rocco's a legend. I've been trying to get him on this podcast. <laughs> motherfucker isn't responding to my DMs. Who 